hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi are you okay i hope everybody's um as well as possible um the weather in the uk um today has been uh, dry but it's also been cloudy um and quite dull but it has been dry and um, temperatures again in northwest leicestershire have not been that warm uh, really so you do need to go out in a coat still unfortunately um hi if you're new here to my channel my name's rebecca i love talking about travel and lifestyle and uh, please subscribe to both my travel and my lifestyle channel and um a big thumbs up give it a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so i really appreciate it and um, today i'm going to be doing a uh, budget travel uh, news 10 exciting facts march 2023 now this is according to the planet um d.com so i'm going to fire away with number one um which is the first fact and i've said this um in many other videos uh, flexibility for travel dates if you're willing to be flexible on travel dates you can possibly save hundreds of pounds on your currency for your flight flights uh, may be cheaper if you fly on a weekend as opposed to fly in say on monday morning or and uh, nighttime flights or afternoon flights are cheaper than morning flights um because obviously you get to your destination sooner um shop around and uh, compare um they say um on the planet d.com uh, we've had uh, business class flights on one day for the same price as an economy price on another day uh, check for the bet better deals um, and the better deals are likely to be on a different day sometimes again um, if you're willing to fly in the weekday but at night again it can be again cheaper than a weekend um in the morning but mainly morning flights are the most expensive but obviously you get to your destination quicker and sooner but uh, but if you're willing to save money or spend as much as a morning flight but um get a better class flight like business or first class then again um you're uh, getting obviously a better experience um with your in flight and then what you would with say economy um say in the morning like monday morning for instance um again number two it pays to look at different at different days up to up to six days before or after your desired dates of departure if you can uh, use a sky scanner and um punch up in the dates and um, as flexible and um, it does a compromise um, of all the different flights within your set days and a couple of days before and a couple of days after and so then you can choose the best deal for yourself um, and uh, number three um, you can book a hotel car rental and flights together in a pa package deal package uh, deal um again package uh, package deals um may work out again better but also it might be again um all good to price them out all individually 
um, if you were to pay for them separate to see what it adds up to then um, but if you do get a package deal then I would say with a tour operator um, you may get an included uh, boss uh, from your hotel uh, the airport to your accommodation um, in the package deal number four choosing your destinations um, where you to travel to has been the most has the greatest impact on the cost of the uh, trip etc everybody wants to go to Bora Bora or Tahiti but Thailand and the Bahamas have just as beautiful beaches and bungalows and uh, both destinations are beautiful but one is cheaper than the other obviously Bora Bora and Tahiti are a lot more expensive than bah uh, the Bahamas and Thailand you can make it e go a step further to make it even cheaper than Thailand um, and um, Vietnam and um, it's either ch even cheaper that and um, the same with the Bahamas and um, it is a Bahamas in the, and Thailand are affordable travel destinations but Vietnam and Hordonaris uh, which is a country um, in Central America um, is uh, much cheaper to travel to um, than the, and even basically even cheaper than the Bahamas and thailand so that's what if you want to take it to the next level and um, you'd be better off at, bo at booking vietnam or say hordonaris um the, uh, then uh, thailand and the Bahamas that's if you want to take it to the next level but Bahamas and Thailand are affordable options and obviously are, um, way way cheaper than um, Tahini and Bora Bora for example number five travel independently travel join peak days and times so travel in mid and low season um, is the cheapest option especially low season mid season is a bit more expensive than low season but both mid and low are cheaper than high season and it, you don't get the crowds with a um, high season during a uh, high season it is um, obviously the most expensive so if you can try and go mid or low season then it is definitely cheaper than the high season um, number six um, hire local guides uh, by hiring a local guide you know that all your money goes uh, to um, them instead of the tour com company or all the money goes to say the local economy then the tour company um, number seven uh, shop at local markets uh, forget sh um, duty free shopping or boutique shopping um, shop at say local markets uh, for handcraft designs and handmade clothing um, also you can get fruit and vegetables as well at, lo at local markets shopping at local markets um, not only saves you money but also contributes uh, to the local economy um, make sure to be ready to barter um, it's all part of the fun with shopping at markets and number eight, eight take local transport or walk obviously walk, if you can walk to a destination um, then it, it saves you money and also time as well um or 
or take local transport it's cheaper uh, than uh, say taking a taxi um, or it's definitely cheaper than uh, booking a tour from your hotel or apartments uh, that can work out expensive and uh, number nine take advantage of free attractions like uh, museums uh, because many, uh, many museums in European cities are free and um, also uh, free walking tours as well because that's um, the only really advice with a say a walking tour to give a donation or uh, say a museum but again you don't have to if you don't want to and again you, you can explore the um, city by a free walking tour and uh, last but not least uh, travel cheap with alternative co accommodation to say large expensive resorts um, the alternatives are camping hire a camper van which um, again is say common in scotland in the uk but it's also supposed to be common in australia and new new zealand um number uh, number three three and um, independent hotels like family hotels also number four chain hotels such as the ibis and itab hotels um that are located across a lot of cities in Europe um, are budget friendly as well um, you can stay in hostels number five number six apartment rentals and number seven Airbnb and um, also you can stay for places for free if you're house sitting or couch surfing or and say like a work exchange or an educational exchange are some of the best, best options uh, to uh, travel cheaply and save a lot of money um, on travels so i would like to say thank you for watching and um, i'll see you tomorrow um, for a, a luxury travel special video so please keep watching and bye for now and have a as good night as possible thank you bye